of radish. What I'm putting in it is a bowl of ice cold water so it will keep its shape. And next I have an assortment of peppers, chili peppers. Because the dish that I'm going to create is a, a ceviche, but Caribbean style. Make sure your hands are always locked. So if it is it's locked like this, I can look at the camera and just continue chopping like this. Okay, so what I have here is some local white fish, cutting it into nice bite-sized pieces. This has been chilled before, so I can have a better management of the fish. Now it would be soft because my hands at warm temperature, so we want to keep the temperature of the fish. And here we have the last pepper to add to the dish. So, what we have here is a fish that I cut up and prepared before. What I put inside is um, the zest of uh, lime and some lime juice and what I have here is coconut cream what it is is a Peruvian ceviche but I want it to do like a Caribbean style ceviche so what I would add to this is some salt and some pepper and we mix this so we start putting this down And this coconut would infuse in the fish having all the tropical flavors so it's like a dance of caribbean in the plate and we start adding color to the plate this is, is a mixture of different type of chilies so and what we have here is some sliced onions that will give lemon in the fish a really nice flavor what we're going to finish off with now is some local ripe mangoes and that's the great thing about living in the caribbean so we have flavors upon flavors here we have the citrus we have the coconut we have the red onions the chilies and i always like a crunch factor and normally in Peru what they use because they have available to them is a different type of corns what we have is plantain chips when fried is really delicious so what I wanted to do is add a crunch factor because the fish is really soft and that would blend really well with flavors um, almond extra So what we have here is the end product of a Caribbean ceviche.